a review on an adjustable pin wrench uh, from Harbor Freight. Um, as you can see, mine was heavily modified. So this one is specifically designed to be able to take blades out of uh, angle grinders and stuff like that. Anything that involves um, having two pins. This was adjustable initially, but uh, what happened to it and it ended up looking so ugly. I specifically bought it to be able to fit here on the KTM forks, remove the cap on the top. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these caps are very, very tight and this was not able to handle that. Um, I tried it first without uh, doing the, uh, the welds on it and it bent, so it, the, the pins bent. Then I put a, a half washer in it, uh, welded it on and uh, see if that's going to uh, solve the problem and then it started to bend from here. So the metal is... is um, uh, fairly th um, thin or flexible for the tool. Uh, I paid uh, $3 for it or something like that uh, with a 20% off coupon. So uh, th obviously I'm using the tool for something that was not meant for. Um, is it a bad tool? Absolutely not. It, it will work really, really good on a grinder. So if you have a grinder, you have to take the blade off. It will work just really, really nice. I was just being using it for the wrong things. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's hit and miss with everything that you buy from, from Harbor Freight. It feels like their products are made um, strong enough to be able to handle um, the maximum possible that they were designed for. And uh, if you push them a little bit over the limit, there's really no margin into them and they fall apart. Um, I still recommend to buy uh, Harbor Freight tools because even though this one was uh, one of the few failures that I had, there's so many Harbor Freight tools in this garage, uh, as you can see, that uh, worked really, really well, uh, including this uh, uh, ch Champion Drillmaster um, uh, angle grinder that I think I bought for like $12 and it's still running today. So many blades I put through it, so much work I've done with it and, and still works really, really well. So um, that is my, my conclusion of the video for today. This adjustable pin wrench, um, it's actually pretty good considering the price that you pay for it. Um, yes, it didn't solve my problem. Yes, it didn't work for what I what I needed to use it for, but um, it's uh, it is what it is. And if you watch the video all the way over here, um, this particular tool was replaced by this. Uh, this actually worked really, really well. It's just a socket wrench with four bolts uh, that I welded to the side. Again, very very ugly welds. Um, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that this is a socket wrench that lived two lives. Um, first, got grinded on the side to fit a Yamaha motorcycle. Uh, for the forks caps and then it became a four cap removal tool for a KTM with four pins here on top that match these pins perfectly and then you just go on the four cap and the uh, uh, impact drill will just remove it so um, yes it's um, it's, uh, it's Harbor Freight tools that made it possible because this was a Harbor Freight um, socket wrench and these were some bolts that I had and then the welder from the from the, from the Harbor Freight. So uh, in this case, Harbor Freight, as cheap as it is, it gave me the op option to have all this stuff around the house uh, to be able to, to make my problem go away, and it did. Um, at this point, it fits this grinder, but it only fits this grinder because I welded something to it. It's, it's done. That's the end of it. And for those people that are criticizing the welds over here, um, that's a Harbor Freight um, welder that did the welds, so this is not the best Harbor Freight uh, welder in the world, but it solved my problem at a time when it needed to solve my problem. If you're looking for pretty stuff, maybe you should look at uh, different channels that uh, sell makeup. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is the channel is about tools, and uh, it doesn't matter how ugly it is as long as it, as it uh, works. And these welds, as ugly as they are, uh, worked really, really well. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope uh, this uh, video uh, inspired uh, you a little bit more about uh, what is available at Harbor Freight and what kind of tools they have. And um, if you care to watch any other Harbor Freight uh, tool videos that I have on my channel, I have plenty of reviews, just check out my channel and there will be a plenty of videos over there uh, that um, cover tools bought from Harbor Freight. Thanks for watching.